I cannot afford to rent an apartment in Vancouver on my own. When I turned 19, I ended up back on my own, which was, again, I had struggles again. I had a little bit more resources thanks to the BYR Broadway Youth Resource Center. Um, I went through a few places, um, and then I got evicted because my landlord was, like usual, youth landlords aren't nice to youth. They think we all party, we all drug users and drunks, and but that's mostly not the case. So I got evicted again. Uh, I haven't found a house in Vancouver yet. Um, I, I was homeless during the summer, and I went to uh, stay at someone's place in an SRO in the East Van. Uh, I kind of got sick of staying with the bed bugs on me, so I decided to go to Covenant House because I thought it'd be better there. I was paying nine seventy-five for a two-bedroom apartment and eight hundred dollars a month for a car, and it was too much. I couldn't afford it after I lost my job, so I had to sell the car and move out of my apartment right away. I had no options. To find the one bedroom, I'll have to pay one thousand five hundred or something along the lines. I don't want to pay that. It's really hard to get your foot um, to like get your foot in here and to get a hold of your finances and everything when you're struggling just to pay rent? Well, living in Vancouver I found to be somewhat of a challenge to start out for the fact that I came here basically with nothing and I was starting from scratch. Vancouver is an expensive city and uh, a young person that's trying to juggle school, work, uh, it's it, it could take a toll on them. and. Uh, as an adult, you may have other resources, but as a young person, there's not too many options available to you. There's always a social worker you have to answer to. There's there's other people you have to answer to. Sometimes it could be a challenge for a young person going up to a landlord uh, and saying, hey, I'm getting money from the government. So uh, there could be some prejudice or stereotypes there. So affordable options out there for youth. There's not too many. There's some subsidized housings uh, through uh, Broadway Youth Resource Center. There's uh, income assistance that's offered to youth, which is not very much. It's $375, uh, which doesn't really get you much in the lower mainland. Or uh, it could be a youth agreement, which offers a little bit more of a realistic budget. There's a lot of organizations that help youth with housing options. There's uh, Family Service of Greater Vancouver, which is us, uh, that helps them on a, on a temporary basis.